Hi and welcome to One Thing Thursday for February. If I was to look back at a single moment of learning that changed my life the most, I think I'd point at a simple one. It was a moment when I felt my life choices had stacked up against me and I was stuck in analysis paralysis. My brain is, is very good at coming up with choices and options and that can be a very good thing, but it can also overwhelm. What if I make the wrong choice? What will be the consequence of choice A over choice B? What will think people think of me if I make that choice? I realise now that a coping mechanism I had for my stuckness, which actually helped to keep me stuck, was a belief that life would just work out. That my choices it didn't actually matter because at some moment in the future, someone would discover me and my life would become what it should be. I call this my Merlin fallacy. The idea that a little boy who feels unloved and out of place in his life is, is tapped on the shoulder by a wise being who reveals his true identity. My moment of learning came when I suddenly saw myself in that Arthur myth and in Neo's place in the Matrix and later in Harry Potter too. It's a common theme that can lure the unsuspecting into a life of passive acceptance of a beige life. The fact is... The only one who is going to make your life special is you. You have to be your own Merlin, your own Morpheus, your own Dumbledore. A mantra formed in my mind, which I chanted since like a magic spell whenever I felt mesmerised or scared by my choices. And that mantra is my one thing for you today. Take action. In any situation where you're faced with a decision, just choose, take action. In our lives, doors close on possibilities every moment of the day. Me speaking to you here is shutting down every single other thing I could do with my time. These choices are mainly straightforward, but every now and again, ones that feel bigger appear which cause us internal conflict because the consequences of the choice raises fear and insecurities in, in us. Should I change my job? leave my partner, ask Sam out, buy that house, quit university and travel. The list is endless because a huge range of decisions could trigger different people. But the root is the same, fear of the outcome. If you already knew the choice turned out well, where would your anxiety be? Gone is where. That fear can paralyze you and lead to a life of bland, unfulfilling safety. But one day you're going to be dying and will you still fear then the choices you didn't make or will you regret them? So my advice is, in any situation where you're not sure what to do, take action, make a choice, do or do not do. Each choice you make, whether yay or nay, will open more doors. Just make sure you keep choosing one to go through. And remember that fear is often just a signpost to a more exciting path. Don't just choose the safe door. And if you feel you need some help with your choices or your fear or which door to go through, then QCH um, therapists are waiting to hear from you. And there are loads of resources on the MyQuest hub which might help you too. The links are below. So have a great month and give this advice at least Arthur chance. Oh, and P.S. Following on from my OTT last month on making red pill choices, you might remember I had £39 of, of energy to give back to the universe. Well, £14 of Trevor is floating out there somewhere, but it's no longer attached to me. And I intend for you to see even less of me in the future.